you very much. I'd like to call this meeting to order of the Policy Review Committee. It is uh, April 19th, 2023, 2 p.m. Meetings called to orders being held in person and via Zoom. I'd like to designate the Office of General Counsel as the meeting secretary. That's item number one. Item number two, Pledge of Allegiance allegiance to the U.S. and Texas flag. Uh, Trustee Broussard, would you be kind enough to lead in both pledges? To the flag of the United States, United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, and the laws of the United States of America, and the laws of the United States of America. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one nation. Totally that up. That's sort of I'm sorry. Under the Texas, Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas. One state under God. Under one God. Under one state under God. Thank you very much, Trustee Broussard. I do that every day at my school. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mess that up. Okay. Item number three on the agenda certification of posting of the notice of the meeting. Yes. The meeting has been properly noticed. Okay, thank you. Item number four, public comment. Is there anyone signed up to speak today? No, sir, we have no public comment. Thank you. Item number five, approval of the minutes of the March 24th, 2023 regular meeting of the Policy Review Committee. Before we do that, I need to recognize that Trustee Jim Kane is participating in this meeting and has since we started recording. And I appreciate your presence and participation, Trustee Kane. Thank you. I uh, had planned to be there, but something else intervened, so I'm delighted to be on Zoom. Yes, sir. Understand, and thank you for joining us. And Trustee Broussard is also present as a member of the committee and participating. So back to item number five. May I have a motion and a second for the reg uh, approval of the minutes? So moved. Uh, Trustee Kane moved. Have a second by Trustee Broussard. Any discussion? No discussion. All in favor, say aye, please. Aye. Aye. Item passes unanimously. Next item, Roman numeral six, policy review committee internal processes, no discussion. Number seven, policy considerations. I was advised that we can take these items up under a consent agenda format. Yeah, I'm not trying to force that on anyone, but unless there's any concerns or questions, we could use that as an option. Uh, Trustee yeah. Kane. You know, uh, Dwight is here as a resource. If you have okay. any questions, uh, he's happy to come up and answer questions or give background. I, I uh, am in favor of both uh, of the policy changes. I just wanted to ask a question about the first one. Um, so that in the red line version, when it talks about the office of the designee responsible for academic and student success for the system. I just wanted to make sure that um, that is Dr. Smith's office currently. Is that correct? Mario, should I ask for a motion before we have discussion? Okay, may I have a motion to um, for this item, please? No. Have a motion by Ms. Broussard, have a second by Trustee Kane. Discussion, Trustee Kane has asked this question. Uh, Mario, would you be kind enough to answer, please? Yes, so traditionally that has been one human to sort of simplify it as much as possible. Right now it's actually two different human beings. So academic and workforce success belongs to Dr. Smith who is here with us today. And then student success belongs to Vice Chancellor Dr. Napolis. So it's actually two different people. Um, and so I, what I, we understand that this amendment would do is it would allow the chancellor to essentially designate one or both to essentially sign those agreements okay. because right now we don't have when this when this and I remember this because I helped draft this years ago when we recommended this there was an office of the executive vice chancellor that oversaw both of those and the history here is that they at the time that this policy was passed those two divisions were not vice chancellor level positions they were associate vice chancellor level positions, which is one rank lower. And both of those ranks reported to the executive vice chancellor, 
who oversaw both of them. And so there was an executive vice chancellor over academic and student success. But one of the changes that Dr. Head instituted as chancellor is he divided, um, <clears throat> he divided that what used to be one division into two divisions, and now there's two vice chancellors, one over each. Okay. So basically, this would give the chancellor the discretion to uh, give an item to handle it to uh, either one of those vice chancellors. Correct. And okay. then right now, the reason this is really needed is because the executive vice chancellor that we have now, which is Dr. Keshvala, is technically not over either of those areas. Okay. So while we do have an executive vice chancellor, the way the executive vice chancellor position exists today, do, they don't oversee, Dr. Keshwala does not see these non-accredited organizations. That answers my question. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Trustee Broussard, any questions on this item? Okay. I have no questions either. Let's, um, I have a motion to have a second. We've had discussion. I'll do a roll call vote, or not roll call. All in favor, uh, say aye. Aye. Uh, it is three to zero. The item passes. Next agenda item will be B, subject policies for approval. How do I say that? It's not Roman numeral two. It's double Romanette. Pardon? Those are called Romanettes. Romanettes. Okay. And so that's double Romanette. Thank you. And I mean that. Uh, that's, that Romanette. sounds like a musical group. <laughs> it could be. Could be. Uh, so do I have a motion for this item? So moved. Okay. Uh, Trustee Kane, uh, motion. I have a second by Bruce Hart. Any discussion on this item? None from Trustee Bruce Hart. Any comments or questions, Trustee Kane? No question. Okay, thank you. We'll do a vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Jim Kane, aye. Trustee Bruce Hart, aye. I vote aye. Uh, item passes unanimously. We're moving on to Roman numeral eight, suggested future agenda items. Do either trustees Kane or uh, Bruce Hart have any suggestions for future agenda items? I do not. None from Kane, none from Bruce Hart. I do have two, rec uh, two suggested future agenda items. Uh, Mario, if you'd please take note. Number one, please explore revisiting the policy about the public nature of these committee meetings and in-person attendance. That will be number one. Yes, sir. Number two would be a pending agenda item from our last PRC meeting. Yes, sir. And so the only request that I have regarding uh, action, or I'm sorry, Roman numeral eight is in order to bring it back, I would request that the committee take the time now to set the next meeting perhaps so that we have a date certain for that meeting. Y'all prepared to look at calendars now, or would you like to do it by email afterwards? We can do it. Yes, sir. Doesn't matter to me. It's Wednesday. Um, we can April reply. 19th. Pardon? Today's April 19th. Wednesday. Okay. We can reply within 24 hours, all yes. three of us. Okay. Desiree, can you help us with that? Okay. Then that is all the business we have today, sir, from Good. our Thank perspective. You. Thank you very much. Trustee Kane, if you don't have anything else, I'll adjourn the meeting with your approval and Trustee Broussard's approval. I'm good. Thank you. Good. Thank you again for joining us, Trustee Broussard. Thank you for driving out to the system office as well. This meeting is now adjourned. Time is 2.09.